Ready to go? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the fair. And I'm really excited about this presentation. And it came together very quickly. Uh, there was a fantastic article in the New York Times earlier this summer talking about the Venice Biennale, especially Shuvenai Ashuna, what a standout her work is there. And fortunately, I found myself in Montreal very shortly thereafter. And I was able to connect with some tremendous uh, sources for this work. And then in a, in a greater stroke of luck, I was introduced to our, our guest speaker, William Huffman, who is really uh, an expert on this, this material, on this artist. And uh, for more than 25 years, William has functioned as an arts administrator, a curator, a writer, an educator, while developing an extensive local and international professional cultural network. He's worked with a number of organizations in Canada and beyond, developing strategies to more efficiently deliver creative learning initiatives and provide broader public access to the arts. More recently, he has been working between Toronto and the Canadian Arctic, and with the West Baffin Cooperative, creating enhanced local, national, and international art opportunities for Inuit artists. So please welcome William Huffman. As uh, Andrew mentioned, I am William Huffman, and yes, I work for the West Baffin Cooperative, and Shuvan Ayashuna is one of our artists. We work with about 125 artists in the Canadian Arctic. Um, of course, Shuvanai is one of our standouts for all of the reasons that you mentioned, you know, the acclaim that she's getting in Venice and other international initiatives. Um, just to give you a little bit of an understanding of Shuvanai, um, like all of our artists, Shuvanai is part of a very important lineage of Canadian contemporary artists who work, live and work in the Canadian Arctic. Um, our organization was established about 62 years ago in order to provide those artists with the resources and the encouragement to make that work. Like you imagine, in the Arctic, there are not a lot of artist resources. So really it is the cooperative, my organization, that has provided those um, means for artists to create that work. Now, Shubana is really interesting. I spent a lot of time with her in the studio, and she's a very... Um, it, she's kind of otherworldly, like her work. You know, if you look at what you see on the walls here, you can kind of anticipate what Shuvenai is going to be like in person. And the thing that is remarkable about her for me, one of the things that's remarkable about her for me, is the fact that she processes the world around her so bizarrely on the one hand, but so immediately on the other. And you'll see Shuvenai working on drawing. She lays across the paper. She, you know, is on the floor drawing. She'll find a piece of, of you know, some kind of a piece of large piece of paper and just drag it out and start drawing on it. I mean, there's a real immediacy and an intuitive nature to what she does. On the other hand, it's amazing to see Shuvenai responding to the things around her. And it's whether it's something that's going on in her imagination or the dream that she had, something that's going on in the community around her, as you can see, some of those, those things are represented in the work on the wall. And she's equally invested in all of the themes that she approaches. And this is what I find kind of remarkable, is that you'll get these really sweet moments of, you know, Shuvenai representing a, a very traditional situation where this woman is wearing an amauti, which is the, the parka that the female will wear, and the kids are in the back. The children are right against the mother, so there's skin-to-skin -skin contact. And so it's an important thing because that's when you know the kids are colic. There's something going on, they're uncomfortable, you know, whatever. And so, you know, of course it's gonna factor very significantly in Shuvenai's work because it's a very important part of Inuit culture. You know, so there are those moments where you can see what's happening in your community and some of it, again, is very, is very lovely and touching. And then suddenly you get these really bizarre, bizarre interpretations of what's happening in her community. It's really, it's interesting because again, you, you kind of don't know what sparks Shuvenai and you can't expect what's going to spark Shuvenai. Inuit art, as, as some of you may or may not know, was very prescribed for many years. The contemporary Inuit art that we're seeing now, like this, looks nothing like what Inuit art did in the early days. Dancing bears and, you know, loons and owls and igloos and those, and, and polar bears. You know, not that she doesn't have polar bears in her work, but the polar bear happens to be wearing a red purse, you know. Right. Um, so, uh, you know, I think that the artists, for me, in those long conversations with artists in the North, they were really looking for a departure point, you know, from what is the traditional iconography what are the expectations, and how can we subvert those? And Shuvenai has been somebody who's done that very, very well. 
You know, but there are these, she, these, these kind of interesting moments where she likes to crop the, the image. And so you're, what you're seeing here is somebody holding a, probably a ptarmigan or a goose or something like that. But she loves pebbles, pebbles and stones. And there are moments with, I'm trying, like you'll see here, this is an earlier work where she began to explore this idea of pebbles. And what, with Shuvenai, she, she has this real ambition to make things that are, that are really profound and really complex. And you know, something like this, although it's, it's quite you know, sparse in terms of the, of the approach, you know, this is really you know, something that is considered and something that is complicated, but even in the, the gesture um, with it being minimal on the actual uh, paper surface. You know, I think that there's really a depth of, of pride in the community, and I think someone like Shuvenai, of course, you know, what happens is Shuvenai becomes very important in the world, and the community celebrates her at home. You know, and, and I would say, if because they're, you know, thousands of kilometers from the, you know, closest art center or contemporary arts community, they're not disconnected. You know, and yes, life in the Arctic is complex. Life in the Arctic is arduous. Um, it is distant. It is isolated. But this is a community that knows exactly what's going on with with their cultural production in the world, and that's been really the work of the cooperative for the past 62 years. No, no hey, my pleasure. And this has been a real thrill, and okay. congratulations, right. you know, uh, to everybody on what a successful, you know, fair. I've had the opportunity to be. I was here yesterday for the press opening.